Uh, hello, my name is Tom Mars. I'm going to be a senior next year. Uh, so when we had planned to go on the trip, it was to Mexico. We had been studying about how when we got to Mexico, God would be in control, and that's what we assumed. But as, as it kind of continued, we realized God wasn't talking about when you get to Mexico, I'm in control. We started realizing He meant always I'm in control, and that includes before we get to Mexico, which made us end up in the Bahamas. Things got changed, but they didn't get changed a week before, or even half a week before. They got changed two days before. And I was like, all right, let's do it, God. We had started our devotional when we thought we were going to Mexico, and every single part of that devotional was about God changing plans and how God's in control even when you don't think things are going to go your way. And when we had gotten down there, Kevin, the missionary out there, sits us down for our first meeting and goes on for half an hour explaining, no matter what happens, God's in control, kind of just move with these kids. And wherever they go, they'll stay with you, they'll go outside and play with you, they'll stay until you have to kick them out. I mean, he was really just trying to tell us, hey, open up to that, and it ended up coming true, because those kids, they would stay, and then we'd go and meet them after dinner over at the park, and we'd talk even more with them. Uh, one of the biggest challenges for me personally was uh, a lot of the people I went, I wasn't necessarily close with, so I was always worried that I was going to be kind of the outsider of the group. But when we got down there, it was like you could see God working through each and every person. So even though I didn't feel like I had my person, I felt like everybody was my person. I remember that first day we had come up with Frisbee freeze tag, and we started chucking Frisbees at the kids, and they started chucking them back at us, and we were just having so much fun running around. And it was just really exciting to see everybody come together, and it was just amazing to see God kind of wire our hearts to kind of be focused on changing theirs. But the first thing we noticed with the older kids was they were very, very open about what they were struggling with. Uh, eventually, the VBS ended. We realized that a lot of them were staying outside, so a few of us went outside, and the older kids were all sitting in the front and we started talking to them and what we found was we all had the same sense of humor so we were laughing trying to do uh, accent impressions of each other uh, they had me saying y'all want grits 30 times a day but uh, we would just have those discussions that kind of built relationships with a lot of them and a lot of times we'd either go out in the community ask if anybody needed prayer uh, one day we went around brought dinner to people who needed it and then a lot of times we just go down to the park because as soon as you started playing basketball, 30 kids would take the corner and it was like the whole community was out there playing with you. Uh, so we took the older kids outside to play football and volleyball and uh, me and this kid both got injured and I get him a cup of water and we just start talking. We're talking about Paul, uh, how he was happy in his circumstances and this kid was like really focused on that and we went inside, we talked about salvation, talked about the gospel, and he actually ended up accepting Christ with me, which was just really cool to see how God kind of, because my plan was to play volleyball, but God's plan was to skin my knee and have me talk to this kid. So it was really cool to just see him kind of, once again, a change of plans working for his glory.